I got you something. Ooh. Ooh. Guess what it is. Should I pretend I don't know? Rhymes with snoffy. Mmm. Mmm. They even wrote... Thanks, Alyssa. Uh. This is really heavy. Would you believe that that's a replacement for your coffee mug? That coffee mug was given to me by my sister oh. in 2010. Wow. That and coffee was, mug was older than Bugaboo. She got it for me. She gave, made me like a little fall gift basket uh -huh. and had a pumpkin. Uh huh. And seven years later, it just kicked the bucket. Wow. Don't shake the cheap Ross coffee mugs. Hey, you can't beat a cheap coffee mug sometimes. Can I open it? I would love that. Do you have a pocket knife? I do. This wouldn't be a bother if I interrupted your video editing, would it? Oh, no. Because. Are you sure? Yeah, because it means you're going to put coffee in it. Oh. And the video editor runs off coffee. Right. No, it t makes total sense. All right, we're back on board. Okay, I just didn't want to interrupt you because that video is looking pretty substantial. Oh, it's getting there. I've heard quite a few chuckles over here from the video editing room, too. It's, I just I'm noticed. a few minutes in, and it's just, it's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe I should make the coffee a little stronger, huh? I'll let you know. Okay. I might want a dirty chai later. So, is there anything special about this mug? It was a Kickstarter. And was. Okay. I, we have this personal peeve, Alyssa and I, for coffee mugs that have this little ring seal around them because the seal gets really gross and it's impossible to clean. So I went looking for the perfect coffee mug. How did you find it, Google? I did Google and I read and I read and I read. And I thought, there's got to be somebody out there who knows the problem of us coffee addicts. This is heavy. Is it? It's also orange. I like that. Hold it up. I want a closer look at it. You mean it's orange? Like the orange color that you like? It's like my other one. That's not an accident, lover really? pants. Uh... Come on, I know you. Come on. Ooh, so it's called a Joe Vio. You know it's funny? Huh. So my great grandma, once upon a time, someone bought her a chicken, something or other, and then someone went in her apartment and saw that she had something of a chicken, so they got her another chicken thing, like a chicken pot holder or something. Oh, okay. So then everyone's like, oh, you must like chickens. So I started buying her chicken stuff, and she's like, I never, I don't have a chicken thing, but apparently I do now, because one oh, person thought she liked chickens and bought chicken her chicken thing. stuff, so that's kind of me with the color orange. That's so funny. Wow. So don't don't lift yeah, that. I don't think it I turns. Lift it. Oh cool. So it's uh, got a little 50. hole on top. Yep. And it's thumb controlled. Oh hey, more light, thanks. So that seals it off. The real test is we'll have to do that and tip it upside down in your backpack with your MacBook and your hard drive with the with the only timber frame footage on. So so here's the thing. It's not <clears throat> spill proof. Okay, it's, it's spill, spill resistant. resistant. But they do, they are making a spill proof lid for it because the people on Kickstarter have demanded <laughs> this. They say, I want to be able to take my Jovio into the mountains in my backpack with my MacBook and I want my coffee to stay in my mug. It feels it, solid. It's stainless steel, right? I did not read. I think it is. But what makes this mug unique is that you can pour scalding hot water in this mug. Still touch it. And you can grab a hold of the mug because it is both double insulated, so it has an air gap inside, and then it also has an insulation between the air gap and the inner chamber <laughs> that holds the heat. <clears throat> so the idea is instead of your coffee getting to just the right temperature and then now it's too cold. Mm -hmm. The idea is all that excess heat goes into the insulation in the cup and it retains the Very heat nice. kind of like thermal mass, kind of like our radiant floor. Mm -hmm. And then it radiates the heat back into the beverage, well, keeping your beverage warm for a very long time. My coffee. Time. Granted, it's not really hot when I put it in there, but it gets cold immediately outside. I like that this doesn't seem like you could knock it over easily. Yes. It's very heavy on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Good ergonomics. Yep. It's very weighted on the bottom. It's a stainless steel cup. And then the lid, is it plastic or porcelain? It's plastic. It's plastic. Okay. Yep. You can simply slide this either way, I think. Oh, yep. Yep. We should read the instructions. I have to share this. This is one of the reasons that I got this 
For a thorough cleaning of the lid and the shutter, squeeze the two hooks of the shutter pivot together and push to remove the pivot and shutter. So this little device right here. It's cleanable. It's cleanable. Come on, people. Very simple mechanism. Yeah. I love it. And then this gasket can be removed also. If you'd like to remove uh, the yep. gasket for more thorough cleaning, a butter knife makes a good removal tool. It is not symmetric. The narrow face goes up when you put it back in place. That's really cool. So I may have, don't hold me to this yet, but I'm trying hard here to earn some brownie points with Alyssa. We don't get many comforts in this lifestyle. Would you agree? Yes. Like normal people's comforts, Alyssa's comforts. Wait, you can't even see them. They're not even on camera. Oh. Yep, that's very so, true. So they weren't on camera <laughs> and then I got you a coffee cup and now you can barely see them in the body of the camera. Yeah. These are the little things that I do because I love you. Thanks, liver buns. Yeah, and plus I was getting a little lonely because I have a to-go cup and you don't have a to-go right. cup. That's, but that's been my excuse to not get out and work first thing in the morning. Yeah. So now I have no excuse. <laughs> yes. I see what you did there. Yes. <laughs> I have removed all encumbrances to getting more work out of Alyssa. What's on the bottom? Is it kind of a rubbery? It's rubber, yeah. Okay. See that being like grippy. Oh, it's so it's it's very grippy rubber. It's not hard plastic. And this is also a rubbery grip, yes? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of nice. Does it it doesn't look like it comes off. Does it look like it's one piece? Uh I think it'll you know come what? off. Look at that. So that's also washable. Good My thinking. goodness, people. It takes a Kickstarter to get this stuff done. We live in the modern world. We live in the age of space travel. And we can't make a cleanable coffee cup. My goodness gracious. Well, I think we should stop yammering about this. And, and fill it with and coffee. And I should give it a test drive. I support that. Bugaboo, do you think that you will fall apart after seven years? Oh, dear. I don't think you'll fall apart after no. seven years. Someone asked the question if Bugaboo is really old and a senior because he sleeps a lot. Like, clearly, you don't have a cut. <laughs> Uh, Bugaboo is five? He's not even middle-aged yet. Not, he's pretty young. Nah, he's a young kitty cat. Don't they say that cats are second only to sloths for the, really? the animal that sleeps the most? I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Uh-oh. You know what? I think it's the president again. Wow, that is heavy. Incredible. Mm. I test it out. Ooh, give it a sip. I know it's not scalding, right? It's not scalding because I just put cold milk in it. That's pretty good. It feels solid. Does it? It feels like I'm really motivated to edit this video today. <laughs> All right. And I'll bet a 230 chai would probably hit it on the head, eh? So yes. right about the time where your rough edit's starting I don't know to... about 2.30, it's 11 now, it's three and a half hours. Okay, so Maybe like a noon 30, noon 30. chai. Okay. <laughs> I like that it closes. Yeah? My other one didn't close, so it was, I was always a little nervous. Have we ever dumped a coffee on our MacBooks yet? No. How? I have no How idea. How is that humanly possible? Bugaboo <laughs> barfed on my MacBook from this from cubby there right here. To he here. like leaned over the edge, blah, all over my MacBook keyboard. You, you weren't, weren't home. home. I wasn't home. I texted you a photo. <laughs> oh, and I could smell it through the photo. <laughs> Just saying. And I got out like the shop vac and a toothbrush and... <laughs> and it still works. Look, she's still editing video on a... And it, it looks good. Enjoy your cup of coffee, love. Thank you. Something Alyssa and I don't talk about enough on this journey is 
what it's like to live this lifestyle. We want to do more and more in-depth videos and talk about it more, but I have to say that even though we did a video, for example, quite a while about uh, being a female and living off-grid, it's really hard to touch on the reality of building a house while living in modest accommodations. And there's a lot of emotions around that, but I'll just say kind of as a, as a summary for today's video that we, as much as we purchase tools and rent equipment and a lot of the channel uh, focuses on building and creating and manufacturing, um, at the end of the day, if Alyssa and I lose our passion for this project, it's all over. Um, we have days where it's really hard to get going. It's really hard to get out of bed. And I don't think that we convey that maybe as honestly as we could in our videos. And in all fairness, when we came here in our RV, we thought maybe six months at the most a year. And our plans have changed many times. We don't feel like we are talkers, we're doers, but we're also fluid and we have adapted. And the reality of this lifestyle has been a one of patience and prolonged sacrifice. That's not a complaint, it's more just uh, kind of sharing our story. And this lifestyle has very little comforts. Um, we have the basic necessities. Yes, we live in a first world country. We don't feel entitled, but having clean water, having a comfortable place to sleep that's warm and dry, and having good food and some sense of privacy doesn't sound like much, but it's taken us a lot of work to get here. And we've tried to focus every ounce of energy and every resource that we have on building more permanent things. We do feel like the house that we're building is probably bigger than our skill set, but we're challenging ourselves and each other every day to kind of come up, bring ourselves up to the level of this project. We knew when we started it that it would mean more living the current um, lifestyle in an RV. It was, it was not um, a give it to me now, an instant gratification structure that we started on. This whole property is going to take us years. So little tiny comforts, like something as simple as a coffee cup. Sounds silly, but it's something that we use every single day. And it means a lot to both Alyssa and I. And when her coffee cup started to fall apart, <laughs> I can't say that I noticed a dramatic change in morale, but <laughs> it's definitely hard to get going when you feel like you're missing, I don't know, your adult blanket. We're very excited. We're also very stressed and very tired. And I know that Alyssa has been grinding, partly because the vast majority of videos that we publish are substantial. They're not simple. They're not simple to shoot. They're not simple to edit. Um, they're basically miniature movies minus visual effects. We feel like the major milestone is going to be getting our structure dried in. And uh, of course, we're just now finally getting to publishing the timber frame videos. I can tell you that Alyssa is working as hard on the uh, videos that we're sharing with you folks as she did on planing the entire timber frame. It is that hard of work. So today I'm kind of taking a little weight off of her shoulders. I figured I'd kind of share the story of the coffee mug. It's kind of a funny thing. Um, not so long ago we did a video, The Ugly Truth. I think it was like nine ugly truths or something about RV living. Give that video a watch if you haven't, it's kind of funny. And we shared just kind of some of the realities of living in a really, really small space with two people. Um, in the beginning of that video, we actually lost our French press. It was a very sad day. So thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time.